Hello YouTube, welcome back to TechIt. Today we are going to uh, make a reactor dashboard or use the reactor dashboard. It's already part of ComputerCraft using ComputerCraft and CC sensors. So what you're going to need is a computer and about 15 monitors and a sensor controller and one sensor and industrial craft sensor module and a blank transmitter card. I'm not going to show you how to craft all this stuff because I'm in creative mode. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to build it and use it. Um, so what you're going to want to do first is uh, put down a sensor controller and then you're going to want to go and place a sensor next to your nuclear reactor. I'll show you in an upcoming tutorial how to build a nuclear reactor. This is just a simple setup. I don't have any walls around it yet or anything. It's just a six chamber reactor with three MFSUs. Um, so what you want to do is come over here to the sensor controller and you're going to click on new and sometimes it doesn't disappear. Um, just hit escape and it'll create a new one and then right click on it again and the new thing disappears and then if you press the down arrow you go to info it gives you a channel this is on 2.0 um, and yours will probably be on 1.0 if that's the first one you're using I'm already using one in our nuclear power plant so this one is 2.0 um, next thing you're going to want to do oops, is um, put a blank transmitter card in to the uh, sensor controller and hit encode and then pull the card out and then go and place a sensor which I already did over here next to your nuclear reactor right click on it it says no card in slot so you put an industrial craft card in and it says target info reactor EU storage which is your MFSUs um, so under reactor there should be targets one and under EU storage there should be targets three because I have three MFSUs. The dashboard will only show three um, so you can have one or two or three. I'm going to put this transmitter card in and uh, hit escape and it'll change blue at the top for the industrial craft card and uh, Yours will be red if it's 1.0 or purple if it's 2.0 um, for the channel you're using. Next thing we want to do is come over here and uh, put down a computer on top of this. You probably have to use your sneak key. Or maybe it won't let me. Maybe not. Let me just grab a block here. Do it the hard way. So I'm going to put a computer down next to this. And then uh, you're going to want to lay out your monitors five wide by three high. Oops, you don't want them too deep. And really easy, we're just going to uh, go into the computer terminal here. And uh, the computer has to be sitting on top of the sensor controller or next to it or touching it somehow. Um, and our screen's on the right hand side of our computer. So what we want to do is we want to come in here and type in monitor right because our screen's on the right. So it'll either be top, bottom, left, or right. And then you want to type in forward slash CC capital S, make sure it's a capital S, sensors forward slash dash hyphen. No scratch that underscore reactor and hit enter and it says running CC sensors dash on right monitor and here you go you got your dashboard it tells how many chambers your reactor has ours has the maximum six um, tells how much fuel is in it 100% there's one piece of uranium in there right now and uh, shows how much water and ice and coolant cells and heat dispersers and reactor plating there is and how much storage there is in your MFSUs and I've got 
ice and water in there right now and uranium and uh, we'll go turn it on really quick it makes a nice noise when you start it up and uh, the fuel starts going down 99.9 percent .9%. and eventually the MFSUs will start charging up and uh, can throw some uh, coolant cells and heat dispersers and uh, reactor plating in here And uh, then those will all go up to 100% or 99.9%. They'll start wearing down. So yeah, that's how to get your reactor dashboard working. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them. And I'll get back to them if I can. Uh, thanks, have a great day.